This video is intended to show how to set up the Nucleus control surface with Apple Logic, and to suggest a few tips and tricks with it. For a roundup of the features of Nucleus, please watch our product tour on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash SSL videos. Nucleus is a complete solution for the hardcore in the box producer, someone whose world is centered around multiple projects, recall, fast workflow, and creative inspiration. It has all of the tools you need to turn your computer into a hands-on mixing machine without letting technology get in the way of ideas. Simply add a laptop for a fully mobile SSL rig. Once you have installed IP MIDI on your computer, you must configure it to allow multiple ports. Open your audio MIDI setup and from the window menu select Show MIDI Window. In your configuration you'll find IP MIDI. Double click the icon and set the amount of ports to 6 and press Apply. The next step is to configure your network settings. Go to Apple System Preferences and select Network. Choose Ethernet from the list of devices and if you're using an Ethernet switch or router, configure IPv4 to using DHCP. If the nucleus is connected directly to your computer, configure IPv4 to manually from the drop down menu and set your IP address to 192.168.1.1 and set the subnet mask to 255.255.255.0 and press apply. You must also ensure that your airport is turned off. Ensure your nucleus is connected to your computer with a standard ethernet cable and open the nucleus remote. If it doesn't automatically find your device, press the magnifying glass and select Find. Check the select box against the unit you wish to use and then press Close. The status at the bottom of the Nucleus remote window should now display Online in green and the serial number of your unit. Select the DAW layer of Nucleus you wish to edit and via the Profile Setup box Select the desired profile from the drop down menu. Nucleus will then reboot. Nucleus can be set to control up to three different pieces of software simultaneously. MIDI control for the three layers is split across six IP MIDI ports, which means that your DAW must be configured to match the following. To control software with DAW layer 1 of the Nucleus, IP MIDI ports 1 and 2 need to be set in the DAW. For DAW layer 2, the application will need to be set to IP MIDI ports 3 and 4, and with DAW layer 3, it needs to be set to ports 5 and 6. To set Nucleus as your controller, go to the Logic Pro menu and select Preferences, Control Surfaces, Setup. In the new window that opens, click New and select Install. Select Mackey Control and click Add. Select the Mackey Control in the window and change the output port to port 3 and the input port to port 3. In this instance, I'm setting it up to DAW layer 2 in the Nucleus. Click New and press Install. And this time, add a Mackey Control Extender and press Add. With this unit, select and click Output Port 4 and Input Port 4. The controllers are now set up and ready to go. In the Logic menu, click on Preferences and select Audio. 
From the drop down menus, select Solid State Nucleus as your input and output device and click Apply Changes. The Nucleus Logic default template offers a series of quick soft keys to access the most commonly used functions in Logic. Instrument, Plugin, EQ, Pan, Send and Track. Each track inside your session will be displayed across the faders of the Nucleus. When a session has more than 16 channels, you can use the channel buttons to move between the tracks one by one or the bank button to move 16 at a time. To control pans, press the pan soft key. The pan value of each track is now displayed across the scribble strips and can be changed by turning the V-pot. By holding down the send soft key, a list of functions is displayed across the scribble strip. To select an option, press the V-pot under the desired name. To assign sends to a channel, Press Destination and turn the V-Pot until the correct bus is listed. Press down on the pot to assign the bus to the channel. To control the level of this send, hold down the Send soft key and choose Level. By turning the V-Pot, you can now set the amount of signal being sent to that bus from the channel. Alternatively, by using the left and right cursors on the nucleus, you can toggle the V-Pot mode between Destination Level, Pre-Post and On and Off. A useful feature when automating sends is to flip the status of the V-Pot to the fader. By pressing flip, the V-Pot can now be controlled by the fader. To access and control plugins, press the Plugin soft key. The scribble strip will display all plugins assigned to your tracks. Note that the mode display is a helpful reference to know where in the mix you are. If P1 is displayed, it means you're in insert slot 1. If P2, insert slot 2, P3, and so on. And these can be chosen using the up and down arrow key. To load a plugin, turn the VPOT, and on the LCD display, you'll see the names of all the plugins inside your host. Once you've found the plugin you wish to load, press the pot. Once a plugin's been selected, it automatically opens on the screen and all the parameters are displayed across the scribble strip. The parameter names are displayed above each VPOT and turning them changes their value in real time. Just like the send function, you can press the flip button and control the parameters via the faders. When a plugin has more than 16 parameters, you can use the left and right cursor keys to scroll through the various pages of the plugin. Press the Automation button to view or change automation status of a single or series of channels. When the Auto button is selected, the display of the nucleus changes to show the five automation modes in Logic – Off, Read, Write, Touch and Latch. Pressing the V-Pot under the desired mode will change the status of the selected channel. For example, if we want to set channel 3 to touch, then we press the select button and the touch. The track is now ready to automate. Once a pass has been written, the track will automatically revert to a read status. Nucleus has two user layers for customising to your workflow. Logic has many keyboard shortcuts that require you to hold down a modifier key and press several other keys at the same time to access certain functions. Speed up your workflow by accessing these commands with a simple VPOT or button push. For instance, in the User 1 menu, you can press the Mixer button to open and close the Mixer window in Logic. Or toggle View Automation on and off by pressing the A View button. To loop a region using the jog wheel, move the timeline cursor to where you wish to start your cycle point. Hold down the cycle button and turn the jog wheel clockwise until you've reached the desired end point. 
and your loop is now set up. To switch the loop off, just press the cycle button. As well as accessing standard DAW commands, the buttons on Nucleus can be programmed to send any keyboard command direct to your DAW. One example of this is inserting and renaming markers. Open the Nucleus browser software and select layer 2 from the soft key set options. Click on an empty button and go to key assign. Click learn and from your computer's keyboard enter the shortcut create marker. In logic this is control K. And then enter the shortcut for rename marker which is apple enter. Now type a name that you'd want to use as a marker. I'm going to use verse. Followed by the enter key. Click on learn in the browser again and OK. We must now give this button a name. So from the menu I will select rename and I'm going to call this verse and hit OK. When I hit the save button you see that verse now comes up on user layer 2. And if I go back to logic, once I press this button, it automatically inserts my marker for verse in logic. Nucleus offers a whole world of options for customizing your workflow with logic. Using the 156 available shortcut keys, you can define your own approach, taking the emphasis away from your mouse and placing it firmly back on music creation. We hope that this video has inspired you to re-examine your own way of working and that it has helped to illustrate how Nucleus helps you to work faster and sound better.